progressives. It's not only about money. It's also about showing the will. It's also about showing the momentum for progressive candidates. It's being an unabashed supporter of progressive values. You know why the plutocracy is warming to Warren? Because she is starting to establish that unabashed support from people. So today is Biden. Why Biden? Because what's happening right now, brothers and sisters, is we have a party establishment that is going out of their way to support Biden. And in as much as Biden is, has thrown out some dog whistles, we even have the POCs coming out in droves to give this guy a stand in. I'm talking about establishment Democratic POCs. I want to discuss what happened with El Senor Biden. But before I do that, I want to remind you of just a little snippet. How does it feel that uh, your Democratic rivals are implicitly saying that you have issues talking about race? They know better. Are you going to I apologize? Think, yeah. Like Cory Booker Apologize has for, for it. what? Cory Booker's called for it. Cory should apologize. He knows better. There's not a racist bone in my body. I've been involved in civil rights my whole career. Period. 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 Wow. This is really not about bashing Biden or bashing any Democrat, but this is something that has to be said. Because if we're going to win, we're not going to win by people appeasing the white working class as they put POCs in a corner, as they demean POCs with the absence of support as they demean POCs with simple disregard. Is Joe Biden a racist? I do not know one's heart, just their outward actions. His camaraderie with President Obama seemed real, even though his early implied ignorance to a black Obama being articulate was initially a put off. But I don't think he's a racist. I don't want the noun racist to lose its real meaning. It is much more profound than what Biden or many others do. What Biden's off remarks show is a precise gradation of acceptable disregard of the other, you, the POCs, when it suits an outcome he wants an outcome they want. I believe Biden's overall goal was to show that he would do what it takes to get the job done for the American people. And that is what governing is all about. So we understand that. But there was some duality in his commentary and it was purposeful. And it is these cuts, these small slices of skin that we must not leave in the ethos lest the afflicted bleed to death. Yesterday I wrote the piece Trump and the GOP cabal want Joe Biden. Why? To destroy him. Remember when Joe Biden referred to Obama as articulate, as if it was surprising to see a black person who could generate coherent in English sentences? Do I think Joe Biden is racist? Absolutely not in the common notion, but there is an air of him looking at things through a pecking order. And that's why he could just go ahead and say, no, 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 I'm sorry. The one who needs to apologize here is El Senor Booker. Why did he need to decorate his statement anywhere with, he never called me boy, he always called me son. At least there was some civility we got things done. Two things were wrong with that statement that had he been empathetic, he would realize. First, he was not called boy because the racists uh, considered him okay for being white. In other words, he will work with Joe because of that. But to equate the times as civil because of civil discourse between a racist and a purported non-racist tells those who did not know civility in those times when their bodies were always at physical risk and their state of mind under permanent stress, it shows a lack of sensitivity and empathy beyond reason. And that is who Biden is. And while he could be president without any modicum of empathy in the Republican Party, that just won't do for Democrats. One hopes the establishment realizes this early enough before they vest their faith in a several-time loser of the Democratic presidential nomination. It seems some have earned the right to get any number of chances, irrespective of their failure. <laughs> 